get us started with the opening kickoff. From inside his own 15, looking for room. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. They've got the big fellas out there. A three tight end look on first and ten. The give to the back. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Listen, I know there are a lot of DBs out there, but all they want to do is get interceptions and dance in the end zone. This dude likes to put his face in the fan, get close to the line of scrimmage, and tackle. And on the opening drive that he's out there, he gets a huge tackle for loss early. That is a statement play. May not be the most memorable play of the day, but it's important as he gets him out to the 25-yard line. And these little touch passes, man, they're just the easiest completions ever for quarterbacks. Palmer, I bet you would have loved being able to just flip it forward. That counts as to your completion percentage, which is good. And then it's all run after the catch, so pretty easy for a QB. You wouldn't have been the only All-American in this booth, David, if I were allowed to pull, have push passes when I was playing quarterback. I'll tell you that. It is so hard to defend. It's so hard to seal that edge, especially when this guy's full speed ahead coming around him. So we're scoreless, their first drive of the game, and this coach is wasting no time taking a gamble by going for it on fourth down in his own territory. Quickly out to the tight end. Well, they just drained all the suspense out of the fourth down conversion, moving the chains easily. And they are showing you their intentions early in the game. It's fourth down, you're in your own end. We're going to be aggressive, and we're not just going to do this early. We're going to do this all game long. Awesome execution on a critical down. And he breaks into the open. And it is a chunk play, a huge gain on that one before the defense brings it to an end. The offense making a statement early in this game. They're going to open the entire playbook, and they're going to show this defense so many different looks and try to keep them on their heels. I love that play call. You can see the defense wasn't sure what was going on. Trying to get the edge on the right. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. Well, the head coach told us in pregame he liked the way his defensive speed matched up, and it's really hard to get the edge against these guys. And everybody wants to run outside and get their fast guys in space, but you look at how fast these backers close and run the football, it looks like you've got a little bit of space out wide, and then... Got some room, headed to the goal line. Touchdown, Crimson Tide. And they'll put that scoreboard operator to work and put six on the board. You want to talk about a great way to start the game and set the tone early. It's so nice to have a quarterback just get himself into the game and get himself established. You make a couple throws, you lead your offense down the field, you score right off the bat. Could not have been a better start for that QB. PAT unit on the field. And the extra point makes it 7 nothing. So it's an 80-yard drive. And they finish it up with the final 30 yards coming courtesy of that touchdown pass. The kickoff unit about to go to work. And it'll be a touchback. The ball will come out to the 25-yard line. First down here for the offense. Here we go. Six nine one. Gator Spark. He's looking to throw it. Unloads to the wide out. It's caught downfield. And he'll go down, but he has enough for the first down. When you run this out route, you know you're starting to get close to the sidelines. I know i got to start slowing down and find a way to drag or get one toe, a pinky toe, a big toe, whatever I can inbounds. Nice effort, nice catch, way to keep something in bounds. 
And the deep shot is complete inside the 35-yard line. As they get set to snap at time, winding down here in the quarter. He wants to throw. Shoots it to the left. He's got it. He wasn't far from taking it to the house, and that'll be the final play of the first quarter. They'll try to open the quarter by cashing in on this big opportunity deep in the red zone. With the run on first and goal. And he's sprinting. He'll take it all the way. Touchdown, Florida. Follow the block. The offensive line will take you to the hallelujah land. And I tell you what, most of the time, Reese, it requires a little bit of skill to find that hole and and slither through a little crack. That was not a crack. That was wide open. Didn't take a lot of vision because the blocking was outstanding. And we're all square as he's set to kick it away. From inside his own 10, let's see what he gets. Able to find enough room to get it out across the 25. He's brought down at the 26. Tied offense rolls onto the field. Jesse looking to take it down the field for back-to-back -back touchdowns. I think it's really important for them moving forward, too, to have a lot of balance, right? You want to be able to keep this defense guessing, Paul. Yeah, and you got me searching for answers after that last drive. You stack another drive on top of this, their defense's heads are going to be spinning all over the place. And he was loose and out the gate and doesn't go down until he gets to the 48-yard line. I love that play call, and I love the timing of the pre-snap motion. Because the quarterback was able to get it to the receiver right behind the offensive line, because of the timing, he was able to outflank the defense. That puts him out in space where he's able to use his speed. Nice job with the pre-snap motion and timing. That's about as close as you can get to that marker, and it will be second and just a few breaths away from the first down. And they'll come to the line just needing a few chain links for a first down. They'll leave it with him. Looks as if the Crimson Tide will have the first down. You can go way back in the history books to the wishbone attack all the way back to the first Rose Bowl team. Alabama builds its identity on a strong running game. Builds it on dudes that tote the rock and do it with nastiness, with some physicality. All kinds of running room. And he eluded the defense, and he'll take it all the way. Touchdown, Alabama! They'll try to add another to their lead. And the PAT gives them a 14-7 lead. Quick work on that scoring drive, just four plays. And they get it into the end zone on a 36-yard touchdown pass. Kickoff team is on the field. They'll try to drive this one deep. And he takes this from inside the five. Just never had a chance to shake loose, and he'll be brought down at the 24. Florida has the ball back, and here comes the offense. 
David, they love to do what they did last time and put this one in the end zone. You ain't lying. They did a great job. The offense was clicking. Everything went well. Palmer, they executed and got the touchdown. And they really were in a nice rhythm as well. And I'd love to see that here on the next drive, too. Just keep doing what you're doing. Everything seems to be working, and you seem to have this defense on their heels. That last play is the kind of thing the offense can really build some momentum on, and now they've got it first and 10 outside the 40. He's going to pass. Unloads to the right. Makes a connection. And he almost ran away from everybody on that one. A huge pickup on that play. That's what's so scary about this offense. They've got guys in the perimeter that can change the game in one single play. And you saw it right there. Too much speed on the perimeter to create that explosive play. Looking for the score. And he really wanted to get the touchdown there, but it's incomplete. And those are frustrating because you know you're supposed to catch that. You're supposed to secure it. It's going to happen, but it's just frustrating for those receivers. Just tap the chest. My bad, dog. On second down, just keeps firing. He makes the catch in the end zone. Touchdown, Gator. He'll try to tack on one more. And it's perfect. Quick work on that scoring drive, just four plays. And they finish it by firing one in from the 13 for the score. After that latest answer tied things up, just about set to kick it away again. From inside his own 10, he'll try to help out their field position. Probably needed to pick up an extra block or two, but as it is, he'll be stopped at the 28. Here comes that Alabama offense. These two defenses have had their heads spinning here in the first half, and now we might even see a little more scoring with this drive. It's going back and forth. This is like two heavyweights just trading blows, David. What has this defense got to do to get a stop here? I, I tell you what, man. When you're giving up points like this and you've got no momentum, you've got to find somebody that can make a play to create something. And listen, if, you're, if they're scoring anyways, let's be aggressive. Let's blitz more. Let's, let's make sure we're making them feel discomfort in some way, shape, or form. Didn't get much done on that first play of the drive. It's second and 11. Getting... He's going to let one fly down the middle. And it slips through his fingers incomplete. That would have been a huge gain if he could have squeezed it. And the offense clearly saying, we want to take those deep shots. We want to be aggressive. And I, and I think that's a good strategy because it makes the defense really honor what you're going to do. And just missed a little bit, but I wouldn't be surprised if this offense finds a way to come back to some of their deep things. And that corner came in hot despite knowing that he was giving up some size. Offense calls a timeout here. Critically important to make sure they have the right play call and everyone on the same page here. And how about this lower intestinal fortitude? Fourth and one in your own territory, and they're going. That midfield, he's got room. Oh, look out. Inside the 10. Touchdown tie. And they take it in for six more points. And that is exactly what you want from your offense. Man, late in the half, you want to execute and then punch it in physically on the ground, take the lead going into the half, take all the momentum. Nice execution on the drive by that offense. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And with the extra point, the score is now 21 to 14. Quick work on that scoring drive, just four plays. And he finished things off racing 63 yards to the end zone. So they got the touchdown, and as they kick off, really important for the defense to shut them down here. It bounds through the back of the end zone, and it'll be a touchback. The Gators sending the offense back to work. The way this game started, you feel as if you have to score a touchdown every time you have it, and now we'll see if they can respond. Yeah, and I wonder how much pressure that puts on the offense. Jesse, like, 
you know this is back and forth. That I got to score, and every possession matters so much. What does that do to you as a quarterback? Well, it puts a lot more pressure on you for sure to feel like I got to make every third down throw. If guys are open vertically down the field, I got to hit them too. We can't let our serve get broken. He wants to throw here on second down. Looking to the big tight end. Fires into traffic, picked off. And they come up with a big play to make sure no more points. 